Banco Cabayan became a MAB's participating bank in 2001. Very quickly, Banco Cabayan differentiated itself from other banks based on its strong vision and mission. In the case of Banco Cabayan, its competitive advantage springs from this solid foundation. In rural banking particularly and in microfinance especially, if you don't have the heart, if you don't believe in it, um, if your values are not aligned with why you're doing this very difficult work to begin with, you're not going to be a success. Banco Cabayan serves the needs of communities in the Batangas province through nine branches, all offering the individual microloan product, the Kaakibat ng Banco sa Pagunlad ng Kabuhayan or Cabayan Loan, and the group loan product, the Kapisana ng Mga Ilaw ng Tahanan or Kapitan Loan. The bank launched its successful microfinance services shortly after joining the Microenterprise Access to Banking Services or MABS program. The MABS program is a United States Agency for International Development supported program implemented by the Rural Bankers Association of the Philippines with oversight provided by the Mindanao Economic Development Council under the office of the President. Through training and technical support, MABS helps participating rural banks build the capacity to profitably provide financial services, both loan and deposit, to the microenterprise sector. In terms of its microfinance operations, Banco Cabayan has been one of the most successful among the MABS participating banks. Since 2002, the bank has consistently achieved a double A rating under the MABS Eagle Assessment. The Eagle Assessment relies on five indicators to rate the performance of microfinance operations Efficiency, Asset Quality, Growth in Portfolio, Liability Structure, and Earnings. Banco Cabayan is not just any other rural financial institution. It is a value-driven organization that wants to make a difference in the rural areas. Banco Cabayan's top management made a conscious effort to communicate its mission of satisfying clients' needs and serving communities within their coverage areas across the organization. It uh, pushes us to persevere longer and to be more creative. We have to find a way. There must be a better way of delivering this service that will meet the, the demands of both enterprise and community. The bank's transformation into a service organization is supported by its performance. Banco Cabayan has already disbursed more than 41,200 microloans, totaling more than 736 million pesos to more than 10,700 microborrowers. The bank has successfully balanced the growth of its portfolio with quality. In 2006, it posted a 29% increase in loan portfolio while keeping the past due ratio over 30 days at a monthly average of 1.1%. Banco Cabayan regularly conducts surveys, getting client feedback and using this information as input in the product development process and during the enhancement of existing products and services. For valued Kabayan clients who have grown their businesses and who need more than 150,000 pesos, the bank developed the Kabayan Plus. So for our microfinance uh, uh, MAPS uh, clients uh, that need more than 150,000, we encourage them to, uh, to graduate into the Kabayan Plus uh, program. We found out that there are those in the group um, technology that uh, when they grow, we naturally ask them to shift to individual. Some of them don't really want to leave the group, but they need higher than the 30,000 which we've capped on in our group lending. So now we're developing a product called Capitan Plus. I think that if you really care for your customer, you will find a way to satisfy at least what is um, expressed need on their part. As a service organization, Banco Cabayan considers its employees as its most important resource. Part of our mission is saying that we want to bring out the best in our people. You know, because we acknowledge them to be uh, the most important resource of a service organization. Aside from, uh, from the continuous uh, training that uh, we, you know, we offer them in terms of uh, value formations, uh, leadership training, enhancement of their skills and competencies. Mm, we also have uh, an existing uh, incentives program for them. 
under uh, on condition that uh, they're, uh, you know, they're uh, below par of seven days does, does not exceed 2%, they get the incentive. The bank requires clients to come to the bank to make payments or to issue post-dated checks, effectively giving account officers more time to generate new accounts. The no pickup collection policy has, however, limited the bank's expansion into areas far from their branches. We will force ourselves to think up of ways and methods of matching whatever convenience the collection um, method offers to clients, you know, without also compromising our own stand of not reverting back to collections. We've been very keen on the text of payment um, proposal and mechanism, which we're piloting out in a, in a neighboring town next to one of our branches. Banco Kabayan will utilize MAPS developed mobile phone banking applications to reach clients who live far from their branches. Clear communication, coordination of action, sound operational policies, and use of technology to support business goals have all been instrumental to Banco Cabayan's success. As it prepares to celebrate its 50th founding anniversary, however, Banco Cabayan wants to be known for just one thing, that it is a bank that stands on building solid relationships that are founded on trust. It's well-being the desire to do good with being good or to serve your neighbor while remaining a profitable and viable enterprise.